what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another reaction here man monster this series is getting really spicy and i'm loving it you know what i'm saying i don't like spicy food but hey monster is spicy and i love it <laughs> but in any case guys johan we're finding more and more about it i don't know why um i think um tenma is on his way to Prague. i mean he's kind of already there um met a new character um um grimmer right so tenma is on his way to Prague to find out seems like he's gonna meet johan and and um nina's mom it seems like we're gonna find out who their mom is um and that's gonna be a lot more insight if he gets to talk to her um at some point because he i, I think that's why we sent him to 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 proc because i was wondering why you know what i'm saying but it seems like um from the letter that carl um it it, it has something to do with his mom and you know what i'm saying she was in Prague at one point because i mean they were trying to cross some border or something I, I don't i don't remember the details of the of the letter right but it's somebody that she met and and then the letter talked about um the letter talked about a friend that his mom was with right so i'm guessing that the friend the 18 year old was johan and also i'm trying to put the pieces together from last because i went back and i watched the episode listened to that letter again as you guys recommended that i did so i did that um so from what i can gather carl's mom knew johan and nina's mom because they had a twin they talked about a twin and meeting someone that looked exactly like the twin later on in life that's you know what i'm saying that she was with as like her friend that he looked exactly like her friend so i guess we're gonna get a lot more insight into that i think that's what you know what i'm saying like that's who Tenma is going to Prague to find out about. And that's in Czechoslovakia. Okay. So we're going to, we're traveling as we keep going. Anyways, guys, let's jump in. Let's go see what Monster has. This is a very, very well told story. So far, we are halfway, halfway through. We're over halfway through. Um, but it, it's, it's getting juicy because the more we learn about johan the more we can we still didn't, didn't quite understand why shuald was so terrified of johan when he looked into his eyes like i don't know what he saw but all i know is shit is got about to go down because <sighs> you know learning about the what the picture book means and the folk tale somebody was telling me that this is actually an actual folk tale from from the, um Czechos, czech republic or czech it's czechoslovakia right so um i know it's czech republic now right it's czech republic now it's not czechoslovakia anymore or is or is it the same <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know how it goes i think they changed the name from Czechoslovakia to Czech Republic if I'm not mistaken I think that's how it went I don't know okay countries change their names all the time <laughs> you know um you know back in the day there was a lot of changes that happened because of stuff you know what I'm saying so um so let's jump in man and I will see you guys for the review Mm 
少年たちに科学的な人格矯正を行っていた実験場511キンダーハイムあなたはそこの院長だったあなたなら全てを知っているはずだ何をしようとしていたんですか旧東ベルリンのあの場所であの511キンダーハイムで Yeah, we all want to know. We all want the details. You know what I'm saying? で精神科医だそうですねしかも内務省での専門は科学的人格矯正いわゆる洗脳だ納得いかないななぜただの個人に洗脳の専門家が院長として赴任するんだ<笑><笑>そんな人格矯正だけならもっとそれに適した人材がいたでしょうにねえ帰る何のことかさっぱりわからん。帰りたまえ。どこに隠したんですか。五一一キンダーハイムの実験結果記録。よく噂されてますよね。ベルリンの壁崩壊時に消えた東ドイツの数々の機密書類の行方。一説にはソ連に送るため、列車でルーマニア経由で輸送されたが、そこで折りやしく革命が起こり、チャウシェスク政権が崩壊。書類の行方もそこで途絶えたでも私はあの511の資料に関してはそうは思わないなぜだと思いますあなたが学者だからですん学者にとって自分の研究論文やデータは命より大切なものでしょうそう簡単に手放したりしませんよねぜひ見せてほしいなその資料知らん何をやろうとしたんですか511キンダーハイムで知らん実験は成功したんですかだったんでしょ1985年に511キンダーハイムは消失しています噂じゃ施設の子供同士が殺し合ったっていうじゃないですかあの時私は院長の任からすでに外れていた私には関係ないそうあなたは命拾いしましたね後任の院長はその暴動で真っ先に殺されているんですから私がいたらあんなことにはならなかった実験は成功していたんだおおつまりこういうことですかあなたの任期の間は実験はうまくいっていたあはあってことは511キンダーハイムの資料はあの時全て焼けてしまったと言われているけどどうやらあなたの人気中の実験データだけはすっくり残っていそうですねあんたは危険なところに足を踏み入れているどうなっても知らんぞ今度は脅しですか私は別に怖くありませんよ消えろい,いえ私はあなたから真実を得るまで付きまといます消え失せろ二度と私の前に現れるキムセロおじいちゃん<笑>帰りが遅い
から迎えに来たよ。誰、そのおじさん。ああ、ああ、なんでもない。さあ、帰ろう。ああ、that's crazy。got kids。I mean grandkids。女性は孫に囲まれて穏やかな生活さ。子供たちにあんなひどいことをした人間が。So what I'm saying, my、like, that's crazy that he has grandkids now. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like seeing a pedophile with <laughs> with kids. It's it's like it's very jarring. You know what I'm saying? Even though you know that. You know I'm saying if you see it, you're gonna be like, ah,、oh, that guy should not be around kids, regardless of if his head's kids or not. <laughs> Damn. You ask a couple of questions, and all of a sudden, yeah, <laughs> 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 ですか。いいですね。悠々自適の生活だ。私もね、旧東ドイツ時代新聞記者やってた頃には考えられませんでしたよ。今みたいな暮らし。なんたってフリーランスのジャーナリストですよ。フリー。社会主義体制ではフリ
ペドロフさんのお宅だよね入ってもいいかいやあThose eyes, man, just reminds me of Dieter. Oh, shit. Yo! Yep. Still working, bruh. Oh, my God. Nutty, bro. Still working at his age. I don't know if he's being forced. この子たちはそこで生まれた子供、そしてベルリンの壁崩壊直後、貧困の中で捨てられた子もいる。あなたはそんな子供たちを集めて、またここで合一一金ダーハイムの実験の続きを。あら、ペドロフさん、お客さん
that you need say for instance like doctors lawyers you know what i'm saying i'm just thinking off the top of my head here like you know for certain types of job where you really do need the schooling i'm all for that but there are certain things that there are certain degrees and and stuff out there that you go for that you really don't need you can literally like for me i i didn't go to college i don't have a degree you know what i'm saying um and I just read and read and read and read and read about anything that I wanted to learn about. And that's the reason why I got into so many different fields. You know, 10, 15 years ago, I was doing so many different things from computers, something that I, I taught myself. Everything about compute from computer science and all that. I just read the books that, you know, the textbooks, whatever, just to get the terms down and, and, and little stuff like that, build, building computers. I taught myself how to do that. It's not a hard thing to do. Everybody on YouTube is doing it today. You know what I'm saying? So what really and truly do you really need school for? You know what I'm saying? Like, as I said, some professions, you really do need to go to school to learn it. And I total agreement that it's, 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 it's not even a 50, 50 thing because for some you know what he's talking about is talking about edu you know education really is you know what i'm saying even though i don't agree with what he's doing and maybe this is just a way for him to do this without you know clearing his conscience rather you know what i'm saying he's still spitting bars you know what i'm saying he's still talking the truth because i'm t i'm telling you the conversations that i've had with plenty of people about you know education and society because when you really think about it uh when you're talking about like being a physicist and stuff like that it's necessary for you to go to school and learn like advanced mathematics but you can also learn all of that stuff by just studying the books that are out there that are in libraries and and stuff like that and you could learn of course the problem is the society standard is for you to have a degree to get this job or this or whatever because I remember I had a lot of skills like my resume had skills 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 but my on the education part of my resume it was very lacking because you know people will just look at me as like oh he's just a high school graduate you know what I'm saying I had no degree to back up all the skills that I knew whether it's you know whether it's about my you know knowing about sound engineering or you know what I'm saying? Like, even till this day, it still happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, where you can't, even if you know how to do something and do it better than anybody else, somebody with a degree in that can just come in and just get the job. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like formulated for you to, oh, I have to go to school and get this degree. And it's, and it's like, really, why does education have to be like that? Where I have to have the credentials to say, oh, I went to school and learned it when I can say, listen, all you got to do is put me to the test. If I can't do it, fire me. You know what I mean? Let's pull that back a little bit. That's all I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? It's like, is education, what is education really? You know what I'm saying? It's to create a human being that meets society's demands. You know what I mean? It's the truth. It's an, an experiment. Yo, that's bars. あそこでは確かに高度な教育システムが確立されていた。あんなひどいことをして、記憶そんなことがひどいことを。ああ、あなたが子供たちにしたことをよく考えてみろ。時矢ごときが上辺だけ取材したぐらいで知ったようなことを
どれも人間が取り組まれやすい要因だそれらに疲れたんだよあの時の511キンダーハイムはある一人の少年のそれもあなたの責任じゃないと思う何度も言う通り実験は成功していた嘘だ511キンダーハイムの出身者には全て共通した欠落部分が彼らは人を愛せない興味深い指摘ださあ話はここまでだお引き取り願おうもう私に構わんでくれいえチェコはもう民主国家ですよ警察に通報しますあなたはこの国で個人を経営する資格は持っていないここは無認可だ私が通報すればあなたは逮捕されますよ取引か通報しない代わりに私の持っている実験データを手渡す取引をしようというのか<笑>みんな行こう They ain't going nowhere <laughs> 何をする気だそうだサッカーやろうサッカーやるよし行こう,行こう,行こう何を考えてるんだお聞きの通りサッカーをしに行くんですよ<笑>なあみんなペドロフさんに取引を持ちかけられたでも君たちのためならそんな取引どうでもいいんだ私が警察に通報したら君たちは自由になるみんなあの家から出たいだろう外はもっと自由なんだぞなあ聞いて Is this? Kiena on the Nostra Dana Pedro, Moscas de Kodomo Tatini. What? Who the hell just passed them just now? Pedro.
テープがあるテープある少年の面接テープだ催眠法と薬物投与による彼の過去を彼自身が語ったものだ511禁だ背後を破滅に導いた怪物の Well, I want to see this interview, bruh. I want to see this interview. Doda, Konoko Tachiwa, Dokoka, Ketra Kriste Irukane Pedrosa, Anata, Goichi Chikinda Haimoto, Kotonaru Kyoku, Konoko Tachi, Zoro, Kyong, Hakai Shodo. ああ。That's nutty, bruh. Petrov was an OG, man. I can't even, like, you know, I kind of thought that everybody involved with, you know, uh, with 511 was, you know, like terrible people. But Johan, bro, like, what the hell? Who created this dude, man? Like, this is nutty. It's nutty, bruh. But anyways, let's get to the next one. Kagi. Kagi to card. I show one. Kashiki buko ni. Jikken data to tape ga aru. Tape? Aru shounen no menses tape da. Go ichi ichi kinda haimun wo hamets ni michibi ita kaibutsu no. Skadoosh dropping bombs. You know? Go chira no heya desu. ゼマン警部お連れしましたあれ警部うおお。ああこちら昨日の殺人事件の第一発見者のああグリマーさんね一晩署に泊めておいて申し訳ないいや爪切り机の下に落としちゃってね、えー図体がでかいといろんなところにぶつけるおおあなたもでかいねはいいろんなところにぶつかります今度の事件の捜査責任者ゼマンですグリマンですどうぞそこにかけて悪いんだけど爪切りの途中だったんで続けさせてもらうよあどうぞ<笑>女房がうるさいんだ爪が伸びてるとねこの先の白い部分があると許せないらしくてねおかげでいつも深爪しそうになるああ大変でしたね昨日はああまさかあんなことにあなたフリーランスのジャーナリストだそうですね彼がどんな前歴の人間かご存知でしたミハイル・イワーノビッチ・ペドロ本名はラインハルト・ビーアーマンドイツ人だドイツ統一後人権弾圧不当拘禁児童虐待など数々の容疑をかけられていた当人はベルリンの壁崩壊直後にこのチェコに逃亡ドイツ側から告発されている人間だが
チェコ警察当局は彼を泳がせて監視を続けていた。監視あ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、加えて世界中の極左組織のテロ活動に武器の提供までしていたそんな連中だがチェコとスロバキアの分離民主化が比較的穏やかに行われたため彼らは差したる弾劾も受けることなく地下に潜ったペドロフはその連中と接触していたようだ例えばペドロフが持っていた情報を彼らに売ったりとかねえてってほらね、また深詰めだ。<笑>そうそう、女、見かけませんでした女うん。ペドロフ殺しの犯人は、どうやら若い女らしい。しかも相当な美人だ。子供たちは、自宅前ですれ違ったと言ってますが、私は気がつきませんでした。なるほど。あの子たちは、ペドロフさんが引き取っていたあの孤児たちはこれからどうなるんですか今署で預かっているが今日にもとりあえず何人かずつ各用護院に引き取られることになっているそうですかあなたも大変でしたねこんなことに巻き込まれてえそういえばどういった取材をなさろうとしてたんですかはあまあ、今あなたが言ってたようなペドロフに関するいろいろな問題を彼から何か聞き出せましたかいやその矢先によーし完璧だこれで女房に怒られないで済む<笑> This guy <笑>どうぞお引き取りください長時間お引き止めして申し訳ない<笑>いえ<笑>ああ死ぬ間際にペドロフ氏は息を引き取る直前に何か言い残しませんでしたかいえミロスラフ、ヨゼフ、あとトマーシュはどこはい。三人揃ったわね。じゃあ、この車に乗って。はいはい早く乗って It's the worst. では次ミノフラディ用語員三名ホンザアントニンイジーはい寂しくなるなみんな仲良くやってたのに点でバラバラかだけどバラバラになっても同じ空の下だまたいつかみんなでサッカーできる日が来る元気出せアントニー君はリーダー格だったんだろうみんなと手紙でやり取りだってできる君が中心になって元気づけてやれ、うん、よしその息だ What did he give him? カフカいやその前にプロハースカ銀行にバンカプロハースカへラケセドホテルあの私チェコ語はよくわからなくてドイツ語か英語をしゃべれないかなネシエスケベンジあ
何で止まるんだここはまだ無事的バンプサジットドベスミニドプロニスロベゾニスクボボーダーおいおい相乗りするなら一言断ってくれよジーバルスセセフチャラステラビジナフタボウあれをモツテネビズナメラリ This situation does not look good, bro. Them guys look suspicious as hell. You just realized what's going on? Come on, Grimmer. Yo, so it's temple star. Better jump. How much longer are you gonna stay up there? Ooh. It's Tenma, ain't it? You know, he got that double tap. Oh, it <laughs> thought it was Tenma. あなたの身が危険なのではと思い、後をつけてたんです。おけがは大丈夫ですか？警部さん、おそらく例の旧秘密警察の手のものでしょう。連中あなたに何か要求しましたか？い,いや別に何もなくて、こんなことまでするとは思えませんね。いや、本当に何も。あなた。何か隠していませんかええ何か心当たりがあるでしょう。連中がここまでするんだ。いや、本当に。I don't trust this dude either, man. じゃあもう銀行の貸金庫から出してしまったのかなえテープ。I told you I don't trust this nigga either, man. They ain't kill nobody. Roots. Kaibuts no roots, oh, ne? Taka kure run da yo. Kaibuts. Tape o kikeba sugu ni wakarun da. Kaibuts no haha oya ga kono cheko no doko ni iru no ka ga ne. Oh my god. Yo, Grimmer. Oh my god. Oh my god. They must have had the room bugged. So that I eat the guy who the shoni moderator tomorrow. So is ya. Grimmer is not coming out of this alive, that's for sure. そのぐらいにしておかないと口も聞けなくなるぞ。そろそろ喋る気になったんじゃないか。鍵はどこかな？ さっぱりわかりませんね。まあまあ待って。グリマーさん、隠したってあなたには何の得もないはずだ。テドロスから預かった貸金庫の鍵はどこかな。知らないものは答えられないって言ってるでしょう。なるほど、金が欲しいわけ
さんこりゃいけないこんなに爪が伸びてる言ったでしょうちの女房がうるさいんだって爪が伸びてるとね動かない方がいい。深爪しますよ。どこ？鍵はどこ？どこ？あなたがあの鍵で銀行の貸金庫を開いてテープと資料を手に入れてもどちらもあなたには使い道がない。あのテープは彼ら組織の手に渡ってこそ意味をなす彼らが実現しようとしている東側世界復活のためにねああ、マイガードあのテープは何者であるかが録音されている彼らはその怪物が必要なんだその怪物ならば統括できるんだそうだ511キンダーハイムの出身者たちをね旧東ドイツで共産主義の精鋭として育てられた511キンダーハイムの出身者を招集するこれほどに選び抜かれた集団はないその怪物は511キンダーハイムを全てコントロール下に置き崩壊させたと言われている彼しかいないんだあのエリート部隊を統括できるのはさあ鍵はどこだ、うん、<笑>エリート集団だ<笑>何がおかしい<笑><笑>何が目当てだ金が欲しいというならわかる。俺は資本主義者だ。俺は金が大好きだ。鍵を彼らに売って人儲けしようとしているだけだ。お前は何のためにこんなことをしている社会正義のためそんなもののためにここまでするはずがない。お前は何者だ<笑>元東側のジャーナリストとか言ってるが。その手の人間は大概が情報部員、スパイだったなんていうのが関の山だ。どこから送り込まれてきた<笑>ダブルオーセブン気取りか。ゴムは何個か<笑><笑>死ぬぞ最後のチャンスだ。鍵はどこだ超人種体なって知ってますか ?60 年代に西ドイツでテレビ放映してたアニメーション。東ベルリンでもこっそり見ることができました。主人公は普段気弱なやつだよ。でもそいつが窮地に陥ると必ず助けてくれるんだ秘密の友達がねでもその主人公は気がついてないんだなその秘密の友達が自分自身だってこと主人公は絶対絶命のピンチになると見るも恐ろしい超人シュタイナーに変身するんだ主人公が気がつくと悪党どもはズタズタにされてるんだへんしんしてみろさっさとへんしんしてみろ<笑>
水かけてやれ Damn, Grimmer is a G, bro. Jikini Hakudaro. Jikan no Mondaida. Nanda, oh my. Is that Nina? I think it's Nina, but why the It's not Nina. Kind of looks like her, though, but. It's crazy. Did he beat them? I did it again. Forty-one and forty-two guys down for the count. Ah, uh, man, who is this lady? Who is this lady? <laughs> okay, so many mystery characters, and not in the sense of, um, not in the sense of appearance, but more of, you know, who these people are as characters. Um, why is she just going around killing these people? Um, seems like anybody that wants anything to do with kinderheim 511 is just getting wiped just getting washed but why who is this lady as i said it looks like it's nina um so only person i could think of in that image really beautiful the the length of the hair the the, the stance everything but she's not in check i mean she did leave but she um deeter is with her so she 
why would she have gone to 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 Czech Republic? Doesn't really make sense. So that's why I'm thinking it can't be her. It's got to be somebody else. Um, we we didn't get an update on on Nina, not Nina, Tenma. We didn't get an update on Tenma, so that's kind of like up in the air of what's going on, or where he is. If he crossed the borders borders safely, I think so. Um, I don't know when we're gonna see him again, but I'm enjoying this little th this story here. New character Grimmer, he really went through it. You know, he went to the uh, to Petrov, even though we know that's not his real name, but Petrov. You know, it turns out that he's actually a good guy. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to nurture and teach those kids and to, you know, because you can have so much hate, you know, as a kid, not having any parents and not being able to experience what love is. And that's why abusive parents are trash. You know what I'm saying? Because you're supposed to teach your kid how to love they come out naturally loving their parents but you got to teach them how to love others and that's the thing that's the thing about it like kids naturally they come out they love their parents because that's their k they, they you know even as a kid you realize that you're kind of helpless you know what i'm saying in that position um i can imagine that that's how babies think like this is a person that's taking care of me and that's why that's why a lot of the times as kids growing up and that's why i don't believe in having nannies and stuff like that raise your kids because they will end up loving that person more than they love you as a parent if you're just always gone working and stuff like that um you know and that's one of the main reasons why you know when i talk and i you, you know Nowadays, when you have parents, you know, parents, whether it be mom or dad, or especially, you know, I'm saying moms, you just don't want to stay home anymore. And they want to have somebody else raise their kids because they're like, I went to school and I got my degree. Why do I have to stay home? You know what I'm saying? And if you have a problem with that or a man is trying to, you know, tell you, you know, I need you to stay home with the kids and stuff like that. I don't want another person raising our kids and stuff like that like women nowadays are very combative against that and it's 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 just it's it's really weird to me that they think of themselves as being a maid you know what i'm saying if you want a woman that need that you would want to want them to stay home and raise the kids they're like oh so you just want a maid huh you know what i'm saying so it's just for me it's just like kids need that you know what I'm saying? They need to experience love regardless of who it is. They need to experience that love. They need to understand that they can love life, that they can love others. You know what I'm saying? And and that's the thing, you know, that is so missing from our society today because kids just grow up with this this hate, whether it's be whether it's whether it's taught or wh or whether it's just naturally developed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think just co-parenting is one of those things that, you know, um, it, it's needed. And if you can provide that amount of love just naturally, it's good. And I saw that Petrov was actually doing that because it actually surprised Grimmer. You know, it actually surprised him because at the end of the day, the way how we looked at it is not, you know, how we prejudged Petrov because he was a part of Kinderheim. 511 and we didn't know that there was you know what i'm saying when it, it started out with good intentions like we didn't know that before so him explaining that you know petrov explaining that was really a great insight for us as the audience because we've always had this just this um grim you know viewpoint of what kinderheim 511 was and why you know what johan did when he was there you know i'm interested to see what this tape is um of course um so it was really cool to see that man they really broke that down some of the stuff that petrov was talking about really hit home um when he was talking about education and um that really hit home for me because those are conversations that i have 
you know, with other people all the time. You know, so that really hit home for me. But in any case, we're going <sighs> to... He got worked over. He got worked over by secret police. As I said, from that guy showed up, I didn't really trust him for me the way how he showed up and then you know the two gunshots whatever and then he was just asking all of these questions i'm like why are you asking so many questions dude if i said i don't know what you're talking about why are you asking me time and time again if i'm sure nigga i said i don't know stop asking me questions you know what i'm saying so that was that's when i was like mm, something is wrong here i don't trust this guy um you know and then it turns out he's what was with him he trying they're trying to sell this data so i don't even know what organization because the thing about it johan does not want to be a part of no art organization so even if they get the alumni as they call it <laughs> i don't know why they call it alumni as if people graduated from the program or something um but we'll we'll see how it goes anyways guys that is all i have to say um it is extremely late right now that's why i'm so laid back about this um but it is it is what it is man this series this show is amazing and it's all i can say like the very the the, the subtle things that they do which i said i'm going to try to do a deep dive into you know what my emotional journey through this series once it's finished and also you know do a deep dive into certain things that they you know talked about and touched on in this series and you know how brilliant it is i mean i'm halfway through the series and i'm already calling it you know what i'm saying it's one of those you know what i'm saying it's one of those um it doesn't it's not a raw raw anime you know what i'm saying you know all all over the place you know what i'm saying and you know one of the things that it does well is it stays grounded you know what i'm saying the realism in this in this in this anime is unreal <laughs> you know what i'm saying it, it's just it, it's crazy how grounded this anime i think is one of the one of the most grounded animes i've ever watched i think this is my first like pure story with no supernatural anything if i can remember correctly i think this is the first one i've ever watched that is like this that is very grounded just you know what i'm saying no supernatural abilities because i mean you know when you talk about ippo it's a sports anime there's still some stuff in there that is very totally impossible like you get what I'm saying? The action is great. Um, it's just the way how it's portrayed. You know what I'm saying? It's very, like, impossible. Like, ain't nobody doing that in boxing. Come on <laughs> come on now. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though it's inspired by moves from real-life boxers. So, you have that going. But, um, when it comes on to this anime, as I said, it stays very grounded and very real. And I really do enjoy that. But in any case, on to the next. Still want to know. I want to see the tape. Hopefully Grimmer gets better. Seems like he has an alter ego. You know what I'm saying? Because it looks like he's the one that beat up the, the other two guys. So we, I guess we'll get to see more of the, the, um, the magnificent Steiner. <laughs> as he calls it. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I will catch you guys for the next one. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.